Hey guys, it is wash day for my oldest. High school starts tomorrow and we are gonna do some deep waves. I'm starting off with Shea Moisture, if you can see. Starting off with Shea Moisture Shampoo. Let's get started. Ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay guys, I have sectioned her hair off in four different parts. One, two, three, and this is the last part. Uh, I comb through with a wide tooth comb just to detangle it. And then I take about four squirts of the Shea Moisture Conditioner. I'm going to use it as a leave-in conditioner. About that much. And just kind of run it along to the ends and comb through with my fingers. Now Magnolia has never had a perm, but she has blow drying her, you know, her hair has been blow dried. And I make sure I get her edges really, really good also. And that's it for detangling. Okay guys, it's time to start the crimping process. And these are how they look. They're in different colors, but they're all the same size. And what I would do is, guys, you know, take them out of your package and just undo them already because they have like a little lock. And when you have wet hands, you know, it's kind of hard trying to get this undone with, you know. So just go ahead and just unlock all of them before you get started. Okay, guys, I've already detangled her hair. I'm starting off in the back section and I'm doing the back right section first. Okay guys, I have um, made a small section in the back of the nape part of her neck, the little kitchen area, and I'm gonna crimp this amount of hair first. I'm going to spray it with a little water to keep it moist. And I'm gonna use a dab of styling gel And then, guys, I'm going to comb through with a small rat tooth comb. Not rat tooth, but just a small comb to make sure that it's really combed through and that all of the waves will be uh, nice and won't be really um, poofy. Pull her hair taut. Then I'm going to take the wave maker and put it not at her scalp, but as close as I can to her scalp. Now, guys, it's time to put the second one in. Okay, this is so hard, guys, trying to do this and film, but it has like a little clasp that you're going to hear click. Okay, guys, so for her hair, it takes about three of the wave makers, and then I start with another about one inch section. Okay, guys, I have just finished the last section. Uh, some of her pieces took, well, most of them took three of the wave makers, and some took, um, well, all of them took three. I don't think I had a four in here. But for the ones that I didn't see how that's coming down, I'm actually going to take that one out and use a magnetic roller on the end so it can still have a little crimp to it. So I'm going to fix that one because it's not that much hair that's left. So she has basically three per one inch of hair and this much is left and you still want to be able to curl that so I'm gonna put a magno magnetic roller on there okay guys so I have the rollers on the end and now you just continue this process throughout the entire head okay guys we have just finished the clip process all the clips are in uh, I cannot reiterate this enough let me start this first yeah look around to do a little 360 there we go that's a lot of clips okay she has a lot of hair but even if you don't have a lot of hair, her hair is probably mid-shoulder, mid-back. You're still going to use a, a need a lot of these clips because the clip is going on each, each section of the hair, first of all. And then for the clips, like this one has four, most of them have three. And then for the little tiny pieces, I put a little magnetic roller on the end. Okay, what I was about to say, please start this process early. Yes, we have been doing this late, late night trying to wait for these curlers to dry because they will not fit under our hooded dryer. And 
start early. Today is going to be a pajama day for her, so she's going to do most of hers with air drying. But if you wanted to, you could use a blow dryer. Yeah, you could sit with a blow dryer. Uh, we have this, I don't know what you call this thing on the end of it. Is it a, diffu is it a diffuser? I'm not sure, but... We just use a blow dryer. She'll sit, you know, do blow dry a little bit of it. But for the majority of the day, the hair will be basically air dried. So the next picture you will see will be with lovely crepes. Okay, guys, I'm checking to see if the waves have been, you know, able to dry. I think we got finished around 11 and it's about, what time now, Magnolia? Four about four or so that's been about four or five hours of air drying we didn't put any heat on it uh, because we started early enough we've been you know we've resorted in the past to using heat because we rush for time but I'm just checking to see if they're ready they seem dry to me I'm gonna try a few more okay guys let me show you how I take the clips out real easy you just unlock the little lock and then press down on the clip and just be careful not to mess your wave up and then you have a wave okay guys a few of the pieces in the back are still a little damp so I'm just going to take my trusty little blow dryer with this attachment on the end because it kind of keeps the hair still to dry those off. Uh, I've already taken the rollers out, and I just don't want to mess up any of the wave patterns, so I'm going to use a dryer on the rest. Here we go. Okay, guys, here's the finished product. Okay. Uh, deep waves. Some of them are still a tad bit uh, damp. But I went on and took them out. She wants them um, looser, so taking them out won't bother. If you see the curl pattern, the longer you let it wait in, like if you can make it hard and crunchy hard, turn around. Like these are completely dry. They're still damp though, but I think they're going to be okay. I'll let you see it when she plays with it, but that's her. Turn around. Waves and all.